angelic. What do you think of my brothers? Now that you mention it, I see the family resemblance. Very humorous, Captain. So tell me, Jellic. <coughs> what? Oh, the broken dagger. All for you, dear Captain. Project Labyrinth. Labyrinth. My project at the Science Academy? This is fun! Your father knew of Project Labyrinth. It seems you have destiny after all, Captain. All this trouble? For little old me? No, Captain. For what's in your head. Alive or dead, I can still get what I want. Goodbye, Captain. Captain, are you all right? I'll manage. You do recall there's a stun setting on that? My apologies, Captain. But given the erratic behavior of our phasers, the only logical decision was that your life was worth more than the increased chance of a malfunction. Please inform Admiral McKenzie that our task force is investigating the last known whereabouts and will... ...have a comprehensive report within two days. Admiral, I need to have a word with you. Please excuse us, Ensign. Captain? You've heard? Admiral Loken just informed me that Ambassador Laza has been replaced. Now I'm getting Tavon instead? He was assigned to your ship at the behest of the Federation Council. You may not like it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Any other officer, fine. But after all, Dono 5, you of all people should know Your that father's death and the loss of everyone else was a tragedy. Losing him still haunts me. But nevertheless, he would want us to both move on. My father would have wanted justice for Tavon's careless actions. Not for him to stand on the bridge of a Federation starship wearing a diplomatic corps uniform. The decision stands, Captain, and you'll have to live it. The peace negotiations are the Federation's top priority, and Tavon's presence on the Phoenix is vital. Permission to speak freely. Out with it. I don't want him on my ship. And believe me, I'll find a way to get rid of him. You will make him part of your crew, or I will bust you back to Ensign. I won't make it easy. Find a way to make it work, Captain. In the spirit of cooperation, then. I formally request a change in my senior staff. I'm listening. You know exactly what I want. Captain Sidney would be up in arms if I approved that transfer. And you know how she can get. And besides, I've already explained it to you. That every captain in Starfleet wants Bouchon as a science officer. Precisely. Request approved. Sidney owes me a favor anyways. And now, Captain, so do you. Now, get out of my office before I change my mind. What do we have here? Fascinating. This device was the source of the hypronic radiation we've been detecting. Of course. Every time they got close, our equipment would malfunction. Avarid and Atira. You called? Shaw? Phoenix to away team. Yes, Mr. Karko. The distortion is cleared, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. Beam the entire way team out, including Shaw's body. Aye, sir.
Metallic delusion. Mission accomplished. Excellent, Commander. Return to base. Immediately. Welcome back, sir. Commander Vujan. She's in sickbay level 3. Level 3? Sorry, no, level 2. Dr. DeSoto is treating her. Level 3 is the morgue. The rest of you report to sickbay as well. There's a body of a Romulan soldier down there. Any sign of a ship in the area? Negative, sir. Hmm. Get a forensic team to sickbay and bring that Romulan aboard. Aye, Captain. The planet needs to be quarantined as hostile, sir. I thought I told you to report to sickbay. Get some rest. You're out there for two days. I'm fine, sir. Really. <sighs> All right, then. I want both Captain. reports. Captain! What is it, Lieutenant? It's the Romulan, sir. He's gone. Gone. Confirmed, Captain. No sensor contact, no interference, negative sat lock. He's vanished. Elaborate subterfuge. That appears to have been something of an understatement. Lena, lay in a course for Rahansu. Aye, sir. Rahansu? Captain, we haven't even begun to investigate what happened on Katrasi Prime. Our report to Starfleet- Can wait, Commander. Devon was right, this was a trap. We were lured here. And I need to know why. Agreed. Therefore, further evidence from We've got a crippled ship, one dead crewman, and too many questions. The Phoenix is in no condition for a fight. If there's a cloaked warbird out there, we may not get answers. Carco, launch a Class 5 probe into orbit and monitor the telemetry. Gage Captain, the use of cloaking technology within the neutral zone would be a severe violation of our treaty with the Empire. If the last years taught us anything, it's not every Romulan is motivated by concern for treaties. There are many conflicting motivations among the Romulans, Captain. Not all of them visible. It would be inadvisable to go to the Romulan capital with hasty accusations. I'm not all that interested in Romulan psychology just now, Ambassador. We're being jerked around like marionettes. And the Puppet Master is on Rahansu. All hands! Red alert. Final Frontier.